Hi, my name is Miriam Wassel Nyland, and I am the founder of the Get in Touch Foundation. I'm also the creator of the Get in Touch Girls Program and Daisy Wheel. Now, our cornerstone mission is the Get in Touch Girls Program and Daisy Wheel, which teaches girls, grades 5 through 12, the importance of and how to do a breast self exam for life. Now, we encourage girls to get in touch with their bodies, understanding and recognizing all of the wonderful changes that their bodies will go through throughout their lives. Good breast health with the education and understanding and recognizing those changes will prepare all of our daughters to become smart women, confident in their beautiful bodies. What I want to do is introduce some of the girls here, the Get In Touch girls. Now they're just like you and today they are going to help me introduce the Get In Touch girls program and Daisy Wheel to you and tell you what it means, what it's all about and how it works. You each have a daisy wheel. Now this program was developed specifically for girls in grades five through 12. Now that's eight grades, fifth grade through 12th grade. So what we like to say is eight tips for eight straight because there are eight tips on that daisy wheel. So we're gonna get started and we are going to turn to tip number one. BSE, breast self exam. Think of your breast as a daisy. Now, when you see BSC, you'll know that that means breast self-exam. Now, the best way to do a breast self-exam is with no top on, um, but we're not going to do that here today. What we're going to ask you to do is think of your breast as a daisy, okay? Can you do that? Think of your breast as a daisy. Now, I drew a daisy on my hand today, so what we're going to use is our hand when we do the, um, the examples for the self-exam, okay? Now, we're going to turn to tip number two. And tip number two is look at your breasts in the mirror, hands on your hips, tighten your chest. Do you notice anything weird? Discharge, puckering, dimpling? Now, when you put your hands on your hips like that, it's interesting because your breasts look completely different from when you're just sitting or standing just by putting your hands on your hips. Okay, so we want you to take a look at yourself and know that that's normal, it's very interesting, just how your body changes just by how you might move your arms, okay? All right, we're gonna to go to tip number three. Lying down, you want to firmly press three fingers on your breast in a circular motion and examine each petal, okay? So what we want you to do is to take your three fingers, like this, now these are your fingertips and these are your finger pads. We're always gonna use our finger pads when we check our breasts, always, okay? We're going to use the front of our fingers, all right? So now you take your three fingers, and in the palm of your left hand or your right hand, you could use either hand, what I want you to do is use your finger pads, not your fingertips, to check your breasts, and you're going to move in a circular motion, okay? I've got a daisy on my hand, so you can see. So you're going to use your finger pads, and what I want you to do is move your finger pads in a circular motion, keep them in one spot, and you feel how you're moving them in a circular motion? Okay on one pedal, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is apply three different levels of pressure, and that is tip number four. You're gonna apply three different levels of pressure when you're checking your breasts, all in a circular motion. And you're gonna use a light, medium, and firm pressure with your finger pads to check your breast tissue, okay? So now when I say circular motion, you're gonna take these three fingers, put them on, one of the petals that you're imagining in your hand, which is really your breast, and you're gonna go in a circular motion. You're not gonna lift your fingers, you're just gonna keep them in one spot and go in a circular motion, okay? You feel that? And then go to the next petal and go in a circular motion. Now, light pressure is just above surface pressure. Medium pressure, just a little firmer, and firm is exactly that, firm. But keep in mind that firm should never be uncomfortable or hurt. Nothing should ever hurt you when you're examining your breasts and doing this, okay? All right, so let's go to tip number five, which says use each pressure level, light, medium, and firm, on each pedal before moving to the next. So what that means is when you're going to use this light pressure on this pedal and then light pressure on this pedal, you're going to go all the way around and check your whole breast using light pressure. Then when you finish, then you'll use medium pressure, medium pressure, you're gonna finish using all the medium pressure before you check the, your breast using firm pressure. So you go light all around, medium all around, and firm all around. Now, 
number six. Let's go right to number six. And what we're gonna do is start by your armpit and move down to just below your breast. Okay, using the same circular motion, but we're gonna be going in an up and down pattern, covering our whole breast. It's kind of like a, like a zigzag pattern, okay? You raise your arm, and then you're gonna just start up here, and you're gonna do that same circular motion, and you're gonna go down and up, like a, like a zigzag, across your breast, until you cover your whole breast and you've checked your entire breast from under your arm, okay? And when you finish with one arm, and, one, and under one arm and one breast, you're gonna go and move and begin under the other arm and check the other breast, okay? Great, now let's do tip number seven. Sitting or standing, what I need you to do is raise your arm slightly, just slightly like that. You could do this just sitting down here. Use the same circular motion with your finger pads, so we all know the circular motion and your finger pads is what we're looking for you to do, right? Okay, so with Using your fingers, your finger pads, you're gonna use that same circular motion to examine your underarm. Now standing in the shower is a great place to do this, okay? So we're sitting, we're not in the shower, but it's a great habit to get into. You take a shower every day, you just check under your arm. That same circular motion, just check all that area underneath your arm. It's very quick and it's very easy to do. Your finger pads and in a circular motion, okay? Now we're gonna to go to tip number eight. Did you see or feel something that worries you? Don't be embarrassed. Tell your mom, dad, sister, grandma, school nurse, teacher, your BFF. Talk about it. Get in touch. Now this is the most important tip of all, really, because since you've already gotten in touch with your body, if you see or you feel something that worries you or concerns you, we want you to get in touch with someone in your life that cares. And that could be your mom or your stepmom, your dad, your aunt, your grandma. It could be your, your school nurse. It could be your, your BFF. It could be your BFF's mom. It could be Mrs. McGowan, your health teacher, who can, who can help you and talk to you about this. Okay, it's, it's a very important thing to do to talk about it with people in your life that care. Now on the back of the Daisy Wheel you'll see um, we have our website and we also have a, a, little, a little tagline there. It says we're, we're here for you. Safe, confidential information at the Get In Touch Foundation. www.getintouchfoundation.org slash GIT girls. Now it's important to remember that you need to get in touch with your body, with information, and each other. Those are all important things your body, good information, and with each other, because that's how we do this together, right? If you are interested in more information about the Get In Touch Girls program and the Daisy Wheel, you can contact us at girls at getintouchfoundation.org, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions and help you figure out how you can bring this program to your school and your community. Hope lives.